Hey everyone, in this video we are going to continue talk about slope intercept form but this time we are going to use a table to come up with our final answer instead of using a graph to figure out a rise over run or the y-intercept or using the slope and a point on the line to come up with a point slope form we are going to utilize the given table to write our equation so most of the time we are going to find the slope using the numbers given and we are going to find the y-intercept and then plug those numbers into the formula to have our final answer so this one here is a pretty simple example uh, because they already tell us well, how many x we have which tells us what the slope is so here is how the form the slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b in this form the number in front of x is called the slope the last number over here is called the y-intercept so based on the given equation we have f of x equals to x plus a number that number is gonna be the y-intercept so if I ask you how many x this one is what would you tell me I, I, I think you may say that it's just 1x so it's yes it is just 1x which tells me that my slope is going to be 1 do I need this info right now no I do not to complete the question I don't need it but for the next levels probably I'm gonna use this somehow or that's just me guessing by the way uh, so the the y-intercept before figuring the y-intercept out using this table I just want to draw a coordinate plane over here to tell you how the y-intercept would look like and what would happen if you write the coordinates of this point let's say that's up 3 so if I ask you to write the coordinates of this point you would write it's over 0 up 3 right or let's just have another one over here something like this let's say this point is negative 1 and in this case the coordinates of this point would be over 0 down 1 when it's down and left we have a negative when it's up and right we have a positive so in either way the first numbers of the coordinates as you may realize equals to 0 that's the x-coordinate and this is the y-coordinate x is 0 y is just a number so in here there is a 0 for x and whatever its corresponding y value is going to be the y-intercept this right here if you just write the coordinates over here this is how the coordinates would look like 225 and then 326 so this one here over 0 up 23 tells me that the y-intercept is 23 so I would just plug it in instead of that question mark I would put a 23 so my final answer would be x plus 23 y equals x plus 23 or f of x plus f of x equals x plus 23 if you're in my algebra 1 class you by now you should have known that y and f of x are the same so when you put 23 in this box over here you would be done with this question now let's move on to the next one so in the next example I'm not sure if it's gonna be like way too harder than this or not let me just refresh the page because this is okay I was gonna say this is taking forever okay let's see this one first we need to figure the slope out and then you need to find the y-intercept right here let's figure the slope out uh, for slope let me just write these as ordered pairs 2 6 
three nine and then four twelve five fifteen. Okay. Now let me see. The slope is easier to start with. Let's start with the slope. So slope is all about rise over run or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now time to label some points such as x1 y1 and this one here x2 y2. Plug them in. It doesn't matter which two pairs you pick by the way. You can pick any of the pairs. It doesn't matter. As long as you label the first number as x and second one is the y you're fine so y2 is 9 minus comes out of the formula y1 is 6 divided by x2 minus x1 9 minus 6 is 3 3 minus 2 is 1 3 over 1 equals to 3 that's my slope just to make it a little more uh, easy to understand that's the slope and I also need the y-intercept. But how am I going to find this? So the y-intercept, let's just think about this. The y-intercept looks like, what was the first number uh, when we write a y-intercept as an ordered pair? I really hope that you can answer this question before I write this over here. The first number is always 0. The second changes based on uh, the steepness of the line and where it starts from. So let's just try to figure the pattern out for the x values looking start from the 5 and it goes down to 4 3 2 what's the next number do you think will be so the next number is going to be 1 and let's do the same thing for the y's start from 15 and go up 15 12 9 6 it looks like I'm subtracting 3 every single time so if I subtract 3 from 6, the next number is going to be 3. But I, I need 0 for the first one. So let's just continue following this pattern. For the x, again, it decreases by 1 as I go up. So the next number after 1 is going to be 0. Same thing for the y. It decreases by 3. So if I subtract 3 from 3, the answer is going to be 0. Just to make it clear, every time I go to the previous point, I'm subtracting 3 for the y. It goes by 3's. And then every time I go to the next point, it, go, it decreases by 1 for the x. Once you figure that pattern out, you can continue doing this process and then find the y-intercept and then plug it in. So when the x equals to 0, whatever the y is, which is this, is going to be the y-intercept, which is 0. It's just a coincidence. It could have been another number. So now I have my numbers. m, y equals mx plus b. So f of x equals 3x plus 0 would be my final answer for this question. Moving on to the next level. Okay. So, right here, let's find the slope real quick. Subtract two y values, like 13 minus 9, which is y2 minus y1, that's what it means. And then do x2 minus x1, 3 minus 2. 13 minus 9 is 4, 3 minus 2 is 1, divide these two numbers, your slope is 4. Now, we need to figure a pattern out for the x values. It's minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, so the next number is going to be 1. The number comes after this is 0. So, this is what I care about. Whatever number I have for y in here, that's going to be my y intercept. So, for the other uh, pattern let's just see what kind of pattern I have over here 21 to from 21 to 17 it's minus 4 same pattern over here minus 4 same pattern over here subtract 4 we get 5 for 1 subtract 4 
we get 1 for 0. So that's our point. 0, 1 tells me that the y-intercept equals to 1. Let me just write it this way as well. y-intercept is 1. So from this point on, all I have to do is plug them in to the slope-intercept form. Write your answer as an equation with f of x. So I don't want to have a y. I want to have f of x first. Start with this one and then follow by an equal sign. So let's do so. Start with f of x equals m. We figured out that the slope is 4 times x plus b is plus 1. That would be my final answer for this question. Uh, let me see if the next level... I really don't want to do this question, but let's just do it. If your goal is to get 70, you don't need to watch the rest of the video. You can just stop watching it. Don't forget to like the video, though. If you watched this far, you should like the video. Okay. So, moving on. Just in case I have some students who want to see the rest of this. So, first, we find the slope. Let's just do this real quick. Subtract 2y values. 33 minus 8, that equals to 25. And then for x2 minus x1, this is what we have. And it equals to 1, so the slope is 25. Now, let's see how we can find the y-intercept. That's going to come out of this sort of an ordered pair. That pound symbol is going to be my number. That's going to be the y-intercept. So, check the x values out over here. They decrease, uh, they decrease by 1 every time. So, it goes minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, and so on. So, every time I do this, I'm subtracting 1. So, from 3 to 2, 2 to 1, 1 to 0. So, I need to figure out 3 more numbers for the y's. So, here's a shortcut for you. Uh, you don't need to figure out what's going on in here. That's going on in here, by the way. So it's going down by 25. If the x values are decreasing by 1, your slope is going to tell you what the pattern within the y values. So subtract 25 from 8. So 8 minus 25 is, I guess, negative 17. Next step. To negative 17 minus 25, that's negative 42. And then one more time, negative 42 minus 25, that equals to negative 67. I really hope that I didn't mess up with the math over here. <laughs> that would be funny. Okay, so for 0, we have negative 67, which means the y-intercept equals to negative 67 and the slope was 25 so that's it I have my two numbers write your answer as an equation with f of x first so let's do that f of x equals to right side is gonna be mx plus b it's gonna be minus in our final answer so that would be the final answer for this question thanks for watching guys uh, Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you think the videos are helping you out. And I will see you in another video.